Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ravenwing pack where oh things have gotten interesting. We have reached 20 pounds. Oh, some good things are happening. But this isn't the end of the story just yet. We've reached an important milestone, of course. It is endless summer, but this story isn't quite over because as you can see, Tan still has a minor injury, and as per the rules that we have, also this is the jump to next year button, just for any of you guys who haven't seen it, makes it really easy to keep your territory, which speaking of, ours is not doing great. Uh, Tan is still injured, which means that we're not technically allowed to end off the series just yet. We're actually going to bring Tan with us to go hunting. Tan, Tan got whacked by a bear in the last episode, or... Yeah, he got whacked by a bear. I got kicked by a mule deer. Ton, please, we need you to come with. Uh, we need to get you some food. The reason that Ton hasn't healed yet, I think, is because he's not high on food. He's not high in health, and so his injury is taking a little bit longer than usual. Uh, if we can find a few mule deer, that would be good. He's at least out of the range where I think he can take... I hope he's out of the range where he can avoid taking a major injury. Because um, he is healthier now. We need to find these mule deer. We need to find either mule deer or moose, I think. Because um, we also need to keep the pups fed. If any of them die in this time, this is this is a death. So we need to be extra careful. I can't find... Do they, do they actually go... Th Why does it... What in the world happened to the mule deer, y'all? Oh, they turned around. They just doubled back very closely. Okay. We're going to see if we can find something to eat. Something that's not too hard to hunt. Something that will let us get our strength back up. We might try to reclaim some of that territory. Both because that'll help us for next year. And also because that'll help avoid stranger wolf attacks here. And hopefully, hopefully these last little bits here will still go well. Okay, we found a moose calf. We have found a moose calf, and we're gonna try to snatch it. We're gonna try to snatch it. Ooh, watch out. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. That's a lot of damage. Yep, the, uh, the moose, they're gonna, they're, 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 they are no joke. That is the part of this that's gonna be tricky. Ow, I got kicked by the calf, even. No, 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 no. Okay, we gotta get out of the way so the mother doesn't, uh, oh, watch out, Ton. Ton, watch out. I want you to eat the moose calf, but... Oh, the mother's gonna... Oh, no. No, it's swimming. Ton, stay away. Ton, stay away. Oh, my goodness. This is gonna make it complicated. I think it... I think they can go across here. Yes. All right. That'll be fine. Ooh, she's gonna try to whack us as we come out of the water. No, no, no. Keep running. Keep running. It's better when you run. Better for us when you run, at least. Uh, the trouble is gonna be the food situation, because that's still very much a problem. All right. I think... You know... I'm going to send Ton home. I'm going to feed this moose calf to the pups. And then we'll find something else for Ton. Because moose calf, the thing is, it's a lot of food. And that's going to be better if we give some of that to the pups. Because they're all on like 50% here. So I think this is going to be better. As much as I want to make sure Ton has enough food to heal as well. This is going to be the better option. It's also going to keep him from getting kicked too much. Because he did take some damage from the moose mother. I'm doing that to scare it into running. Because we're having a difficult time handling it while it's still staying so close. Ouch. 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 Okay. Alright. It is at least running again. Oh, we, we got the chance to do some damage. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, we got it. And the mother's going to sit here and guard the body. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Get away. Chase me. Come get me. Get off of it so that I can bring it. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look how ridiculous this is. I'm not giving that up. I'm not. I'm sorry. Yep, we, we need to eat. That's the way things are, hun. Come on. Come on. Get out of here. Oh, she's chasing. Okay. I think we can grab it now. I think we can grab it if we go over here. Excuse me? Oh my goodness. If I take an injury from this, I'm going to be mad. Get over here. Get over here. Come here. Come on, come on, come on. Get it and go. Get it and go. All right, we're leaving. We're out of here. We got it. We're leaving the moose mom behind, and I'm going to try my best to feed this to the pups, and hopefully Ton will wait to try and grab it this time. 
Okay, moose calves are very heavy, but we have very nearly made it back. Uh, just a little bit farther and we should be good. And then I think we're going to probably actually go up. I didn't really get to mark any of the territory I was hoping to mark, but we're also losing some up here. I don't know which way I should go. I don't particularly want to hunt mule deer down by the creek, though, and I think that's probably our best option unless we happen to find another moose. So I think I'm going to take Ton up to the hills, actually, and try and get some food for him there. Because I think we're going to have at least this night here before we're finally safe. And that's, yeah, that's, uh, that's a little bit of a nerve-wracking thought. Let's feed the pups. Let them eat. They're all pretty hungry. Ton, do not. Ton, don't. Ton, don't. You guys have said that if I stand right by it, that it can sometimes stop them from, uh, from stealing. But I don't know. I think it also stops the pups from eating is the thing. Or mostly. Owl just peaced out. Owl's just left. Ton, please do not. I, we're we're going to get you food soon. I know he's on 50%, so he's also very hungry. But the pups are going to be in more trouble if they don't get to eat. <laughs> I'm going to have to, like, guard it. I'm sorry, hun. I'm so sorry. Ton, no, please. Don't do this. <laughs> Trying to get him to not eat this this moose before the pups have had the, ch the chance to eat their fill. Owl and Sable still need to eat. Sable, where are you? Sable, what are you doing? You're hungry. What are you doing? <laughs> She's off digging a hole and I can't go grab her because Ton will eat it if I leave this alone. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, let your babies eat, sir, please. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let, let Sable have food, please. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Gosh. Yeah, it's uh, it's either too hard to feed the mates or sometimes it's not not hard enough it feels like. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. But I think everybody's at least reasonable. At least Owl and Sable are up to like 80%. Now, I don't mind if Ton eats the rest after that. In fact, that's probably honestly a good thing if he does. Because he is so hungry and I can always bring him back like a mule deer or something. Cassia can get food for herself while she's out running around. So I don't mind if he eats once the pups are done. I just want them to actually be finished first. Goodness. All right. Yeah, Tana is going to probably eat that. Yeah, okay. They they're all at 90%, so that's fine. If he wants the rest, he can have it now. I don't I don't not mind at this point. Okay, so the good news is we're regaining our territory. The bad news is I've really not found anything to eat except for hares. So we've been having Cassia eat as many hares as she possibly can, and there is where's the lake? No, maybe the lake isn't in this area. Okay, I'm looking for like a stream to drink out of or whatever. Oh, there's another hair. We're gonna go grab it. Yep. I've just been doing this. Just been grabbing hairs. Oh, but Ton has recovered. So as long as nothing happens to Cassia before she gets back, the end may be in sight. He literally just recovered, I think, since I started talking. But we're still gonna try to bring back food. We're still gonna finish out the day. And provided that we're able to do that successfully, then we will be able to proceed to air selection. So this might be kind of a short video. I still wanna make sure we do buff up the territory as well because now that we have the ability to jump ahead to next year it's going to be that much more important to have that territory boosted up and I really like that because that kind of it encourages you not to just deprioritize it for the next year because then you're going to have all that work to do again. And so in the meantime, when we're waiting for Saga and stuff that will, will organically fill that gap, it's a really nice system to have in place. But we're going to finish out this day. We're going to maybe see what this moose is. If we can find another calf, that would not be a bad thing. Because then Cassia could also get a bite to eat. And uh, we are going to mark this territory. Oh, it's a bull moose. Never mind. And there's bison right by my scent post. What in the world? You know, I said I didn't want to be hunting down here. And then that's exactly what I'm going to wind up doing again. I think these are all mule deer. And I don't think any of them have fawns. No, that's a moose. Do you have a baby? Do you have a baby? You're not a bull moose. Is this the mama moose from earlier? Because I think that's the... No, I think... Yeah, cow moose. I think she's just alone. Okay. Well, we're going to keep looking around. I guess maybe we will try and reinforce some of the territory down here as long as we have the chance. Because we still need food for Cassia. We still need food for Ton. 
And I think that's going to be hopefully not insanely difficult to acquire, but we will see. We'll see. Ah, Stranger Wolves. So Junction Butte is prowling around down here. I'm not, not surprised considering how much those lower hexes are fading. Uh, they are definitely going to want a piece of this. Let's just cross here. I think uh, it still was pretty deep. Um, I'm not surprised, but that's really not what we want to see right about now, especially with our stamina going down. We're still going to keep trying to claim this until we can find a reasonable amount of food, because I do want to make sure that we leave this off as if the wolves were going to continue. Like, oh, you know, if we leave them starving, that doesn't make sense from a narrative perspective, which is why I'm doing this. Uh, we don't really want to leave them starving, but uh, we haven't found food yet. So, yay, we're still going to keep doing this until we figure it out. And hopefully not get mauled by stranger wolves for coming down here. We're going to stop down here and reclaim where Junction Butte has uh, taken over our scent post. And then we'll maybe check those mule deer tracks. I keep not finding... Does the beaver trail go across here? Oh, there is a beaver on it, you know. You know. Let's go over here. We'll see if we can grab this one. See if we can grab this one. If we can sneak up on... Nope, it's running. All right, we might still be able to get it. We might still be able to get it. Let's lock on. It's going to bite us a little bit. And we should be able to... Ah, but our stamina is not phenomenal, so this may not actually work. We'll see if we're able to bring it down. Nope, this is definitely not going to work. Okay. We really need to find a mule deer then, because if we can take down the fawn, that's going to be easier. <laughs> there we are. A mule deer and a fawn. And I think... Well, we're going to we're gonna be doing this with incredibly low stamina, but I think it'll be okay. The fawns are not that fast. We just have to watch out for the mother, and we're not going to be able to bite for very long. All right, we got three in at least. Fortunately, these guys have low enough health that we should be able to get these bites. She is going to try to come after us. Oh, goodness, we need to like let her stamina regen almost completely in between, though, because otherwise we're not going to get any damage done. All right, she's going to try and come for us in a second here. Oh, there she goes. As long as we're careful here, we should be fine. We've got it down to halfway already, so I think we'll be okay. Oh, she's going to turn around, but I think we should... Yep. Oh, we got away. Just a few more bites will do it. Let her stamina come back, though. Did we get it? Nope, not quite. <laughs> almost. Almost. No. Come on. Oh, you got to watch out, though, because I don't want to... I don't want to take an injury. If we, if we get injured, then we're doing another day to, to handle it. All right. Oop, there we go. That would have been really sad if that was an injury, but it's fine. Uh, we can go ahead. We'll bring this back. We'll probably eat half of it ourselves, but we'll bring the other half to Ton. And 83 and 78, that should balance it out to a point where it doesn't seem terrible. Uh, and the pups are all in the 90s to 80s, too. So I think that's a reasonable place to say that uh, it'll be likely enough these guys would make it the rest of the year with their pups. And here we are. We will actually put this here a little ways away. We'll call Ton over so that he for sure is the one to eat it. And uh, we'll then go ahead and wrap this up because it's gotten to be about that time of year again. And the pups are all past 20 pounds. So with this, the pack will be able to make it and do it just fine, I think. A little bit of a longer, weird episode. So thank you guys for watching. And I do hope you've enjoyed it. Next time, we'll be taking a look at the airs as well. So make sure to keep an eye out on the channel soon for the air poll so that you can vote on which of these pups you want to see become the potential heir of the Raven Wing pack when Cassia's story comes to an end. But with that said, we're going to go ahead and leave this off here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.